Can we be over here? In this video, I'm taking on the Geodetective world map to see if I can improve my ability at scanning my surroundings for clues and hints that can lead me to a perfect score. Hello everyone and welcome back to the GeoGoose YouTube channel where today we're taking on another challenge in the Road to Pro series and today is, is geared more towards me making sure that I can use all the hints in front of me to try and get as good a score as possible. If you watch some of my past videos, especially my Canadian versus the USA map video, you'll know that sometimes I miss the most blatantly obvious hints right in front of me like that Salt Lake City sign I missed. So uh, this map will ho hopefully remedy that. Uh, it's a really fun map to play. As you can see, I've played it before, um, but this was a long time ago. I used to play this map a lot because I thought it was a bit of fun. Since then, they've updated the amount of locations. Um, I don't think I'd be able to replicate this score in this amount of time anymore without practice, but uh, I think it'll be fun for me, and it'll be a play-along link, so you guys can play along with me as we go through this map. We're going to play two minutes, no moving as the map suggests, and we're going to make a challenge link for you guys, so go ahead, click that in the description. The links will be in um, chronological order, so in the order I play them, They'll be in the order in the description, and feel free to click it right now and play along in game number one. So let's go. Um, this map is a mix of official and unofficial coverage, as we can see here. This is unofficial. Let's take a look quickly. Antonio Agostino Neto. Agostino is spelled like that. Oh, this is interesting. So that's like a hammer and sickle. It feels very Soviet. Ah, well, it's not so. So it is a sickle and a knife, but this is the Angolan flag. I was going to say, Agostino spelt like this. You heard me say that. Feels very Portuguese. You see this suffix, N-H-O, in a lot of uh, Portuguese names, and Neto as well is a Portuguese surname, or Brazilian surname, as far as I'm aware. Uh, that plus the Angolan flag, the Angolan colors. Yeah, that, yes, that is the Angolan, uh, I don't know if it's the coat of arms, but clearly it's what's on the flag too. So uh, without further ado, let's just get right into Angola. If you don't know where it is, it's right here, a large Portuguese speaking country um, in the south of Africa. And I'm just assuming we're in the capital city of Luanda. Um, I'm going to zoom in here, look for a big, this is a big, big park. It looks like the water's out to our west. This is a huge memorial. Let's see if I can find this. Um, maybe we're out near the water. Do, 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 do. So this should be pretty significant. Could it be this? No, that's a cemetery. I'm going to, oh, here it is. Memorial Agostino Neto. And this makes perfect sense. The park is on this side of us. The memorial is on this side of us. Looks like we're right in the middle of it. Are we lined right up with this path? Yes, we absolutely are. So that's going to be 5,000 points if the map isn't wrong. Very, very interesting. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, um, there's a couple of Portuguese-speaking countries in Africa, including Angola and their capital, Luanda. Mozambique speaks Portuguese. I believe Sao Tome and Principe, this country here, speaks Portuguese. So there's... Uh, a Cabo Verde as well, if I'm not mistaken. So there's a lot of Portuguese colonization, but uh, this one's going to be in Luanda. We're going to click, and look at that. Perfect score, 5 meters. Of course, that's a little bit off, but uh, all Google Maps locations are. So very, very happy with that first round. Very easy to find that. So hopefully a lot of you guys got that as well. Uh, you will have if you're familiar with the Angolan flag, and you don't even need to know that the capital is Luanda. It's really by far the biggest city. So pretty easy first round. Let's move on to the second one. Pretty good at using those clues. This is interesting. What is this flag? Ah, okay. So this flag here tells me what country I'm in. However, there's not much else to go off of. So this flag here is the Tunisian flag, very similar to the Turkish flag, um, but it's red with a white circle with the moon and the star in the center of it. So this is for sure Tunisia. Now, this location may be very obvious to some of you, but I'm not familiar with it. This reminds me of some of the, some of like the ruins from Alexandria in Egypt. So... I'm assuming it's just Tunis, um, or at least somewhere up around here, and I assume it's going to show up as like, uh, like maybe something like this. No, that doesn't really look, that's more of a dry dock. No, I, I don't think we're near the water. It's more of a castle wall. We can look to the south. There's really not much out there, is there? The only thing I have is the Tunisian flag, so... So it looks like that we're not in the middle of the city. I mean, could we be here or something? It's a Roman amphitheater. This is not an amphitheater. It does not look like it. It looks more like castle ruins. I'll click here for now. Could it be like here or something? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not sure. It might not even be Tunis, right? Oh, I don't have very much time to look around for it. But uh, I, I know we're in Tunisia. The problem is I don't recognize the structure. It's very, very cool. I wish I knew where it was, um, but I don't. 
So we're just going to hedge in Tunis. We're going to assume it is the capital. Maybe it's Bizerte. We'll have a quick look here. Old port of Bizerte. Doesn't look to be anything maybe up here. Something up here maybe? This That's an old prison. Could it be this? Hmm. This looks a little more interesting, but still, it just says prison... No, I don't think so. I think that's more of a park. We're gonna we're gonna let it go in Tunis, and we're gonna see how close we get. Okay, so it was not Tunis. We got the right country. It was in El Kef. What is this place called? Kaspa El Kef. I mean, that's a tough one. There's really not like if you didn't know exactly where this was going into that round. I don't think you're ever getting that. Um, I didn't know this area had coverage. All I knew was the Tunisian flag, so I was able to get the country, but uh, that was a very difficult one for this map, I must say. Uh, I don't think it was possible to 5k that unless you know where it was, but all the same, it was pretty easy to get a good score, so let's move on to the next round. So, we're looking here at a compass on the ground here. Some Temple Square, Salt Lake City, Utah. Well, isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic that... Uh, the map, like, the whole reason, one of the main reasons I'm playing this map is because I had a round in Salt Lake City. If you guys didn't watch that video, I suggest you go watch it. It was, uh, it's one of my more popular videos at this point, where, uh, me, a Canadian, took on the U.S., just, just straight up USA map, uh, no blurry, to try and find out where I was. And I had a location where a hotel said, Marriott Salt Lake City. And I looked at the bottom of the sign for an address, but I didn't see that it said Salt Lake City. So, right here, we're in this map, <laughs> and we're gonna get payback. For that Salt Lake City round. And as I zoomed into Salt Lake City, I found Temple Square right here. This is the Salt Lake City Temple. Um, we're right at the compass with this big round thing here. So, is that the reflecting pool? I'm gonna assume so. Wait, no, no. That looks more like this thing. So maybe I'm here. That, yeah, that looks more correct. So if I look to my slightly northeast. Yeah, this building here with this little rounded front part could very well be this. Let's look around to the west. There's a couple tall buildings just to my west, or not to my west, sorry, my south. Yeah, I think we're on this side of it. This building looks much more like what I see here, and I don't see a reflecting pool, so um, I don't think we're going to waste too much time. I think we're just going to click here, and we're, we should get 5,000 points. Yeah, we do. 5,000 points, six meters away from the location, so that's two 5,000 points in one location in Tunisia where we couldn't quite get the 5k, but still got over 4,500, and we'll move on to this round. Now, this feels North American, Canadian, or the U.S. This looks like a bundled-up U.S. flag, and that's what I thought right away anyway, um, but it does look cold, and it looks old. Let's take a look around at some hints. Awesome autos. Okay, let's look at the license plate. Yellow on bottom, I'm not familiar with that, which is unfortunate, because I feel like that would very much help me. Maletsky's, 7th, we got U-Haul, 1st National Bank, oh, I don't, okay, let's take a look here, Steamtown National Historic Site, Steamtown, I have, oh, Times, I mean, this is not New York, is it? There's That's not a New York plate. This is... Could this be Pennsylvania? Because, yo, know, this is going to sound completely ridiculous. I don't know if this has anything to do with the Steamtown National Historic Site. But, in the American version of The Office, there's a mall called the Steamtown Mall. Near Scranton, I believe. And I don't know if it's because of it being near up the actual steamtown national historic site um and i know it's not a real mall or so watching way too much of that show has clearly paid off for me this is insane okay let's let's we got 25 seconds to 5k this so we're basically going straight north south okay where's the steamtown national historic site so it's off to our west on the other side of this bridge so we're on the north side of a bridge are we like here somewhere First National Bank. Are we right next to the first? We're literally right next to the First National Bank. We're in between these. North 6th. Yep, we're just south of this intersection. We are right here. We are literally right here. How did we 5k that? Watching too much of The Office paid off. Holy crap. I can't believe that. And I'm so glad that it shows up so far out when you zoom into Scranton. I mean, even if I had just done this and I looked around this whole area, I wouldn't have seen it. I had to actually zoom into Scranton. And I found the Steamtown National Historic Site. That is... 
wow, I'm really impressed with myself. I, I did not think I was going to get that when I first looked at it. Um, I guess that's a Pennsylvania plate with the yellow on the bottom. I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked I got that. So uh, hopefully you guys did too. That's a pretty niche thing that I knew where, uh, or roughly knew where Steamtail was. So I'm happy about that. Hopefully you guys uh, got something close. But let's move on to the final round of the first seed. Wow. Uh, oh boy. Geo Detective, it says. Well, what kind of detective work can I do here? There's nothing to look at. Well, there's something to look at. Are those flags? I don't know. I can't really tell. This looks like the Argentine flag without the sun in the middle. So, we're either in really far south Argentina or we're in Antarctica. So the water's mostly out to our north, actually. Well, we're kind of on an island. I mean, this is just an island. Where in the world could we be? Let's look like, I don't know, way out here in, in Argentina. There's definitely nothing out here, right? No, there's something there. This one's going to be tough, guys. Because even, even like Ushuaia doesn't look like this. I... This feels like Antarctica to me. Could it be something like this? One of these bases out here in Antarctica? Machu Picchu base. That might be Peruvian. Let's take a look at this island. It's like, it looks like a like a whale tail shape almost. Like you can see it goes out and out like that. Uh, very north-south as well. So if I can find something that looks like that. I mean I'd be pretty happy. Let's take a look. No nothing really here. Flamingo Beach. Oh yeah. It's my next vacation destination, actually. Um, Snow Island, Deception Island. Whaler's Bay. I've heard of Deception Island before. Yeah, I'm sure there's actually sand there. Um, boy, this is not easy. I mean, I don't know how... I feel like with more time, maybe we could get it. I'm okay putting it here near Argentina on an Antarctic base. But I could be very wrong. Oh my gosh! Oh, I didn't even see this island. I scrolled right over it when I was going down. But that's 4,800 points. It's Half Moon Island. So I was right. It was one of these Latin American Antarctic bases. Ha! Alright, guys. That seed was... I'm not going to lie. A lot of that was luck. The Steamtown one was a bit of luck. The Tunisia one was actually a bit of bad luck. But this Antarctica one... I think that was good luck. Plus me feeling like it definitely didn't feel like southern Argentina, because I've seen Ushuaia, I've looked at the town on Google Maps plenty of times before, this looked way too cold, especially with most of the water, like, north, and just being surrounded by water, didn't feel like it, but that's pretty impressive, to me at least. So, 24,367 on the first geodetective seed of the day. Guys, I'm super happy with that. We're gonna run this back, I mean, no doubt in my mind. That was so much fun. Uh, this, this map, straight up, is one of my most favorite maps to play um, in the entire game of GeoGuessr, and I hope you guys enjoy these too. So we're going to go back, and we're going we're gonna to play it again. We're going to play it again, we're going to make another challenge link, and see if you guys can beat my score, because that first round, honestly, I, I have a hard time believing many of you will beat that score. I, I think that's a tough one to beat. Uh, you might get all similar regions, though, I will say, but I think that Antarctica guess might throw some people off. I got lucky that I was that close. I think every other country you can get for sure. Maybe the American one might be tough, but yeah. Try and beat my score. We're going to go into the second and final round of the video because uh, we're already getting on. It's 13 minutes, but we're going to make it two Geodetective Seeds for you guys to play along with today. So let me get some water. Sip of coffee. Still recovering from COVID. And let's get right into the video. My taste is only at like 20%. I can barely taste my coffee. That's I hate that. I love coffee. Uh, okay, I can't read that menu. Uh, I can read this, though. Safanastrowski. That looks Polish to me. What in the world is this word? Uh, okay. Yeah, this this feels Pol like Polish language to me. Uh, that's something you just get from uh, looking at languages a lot. Yeah, dot PL. That phone of 602. So we're definitely in Poland. It feels very, very warm. Um... This is interesting. The water's like kind of to our south. We're on kind of a, a lake, I suppose. Let's just get right into Poland and see where we could be. It feels... I mean, we could be over like here somewhere. But, um... I don't know, like something like this. Where's the water? 
it's mostly to our south southwest so it wouldn't really make sense for us to be here but nah here no um we'll leave it here for now but it doesn't feel this northern like this is the baltic sea it's very cold up there is there like a big lake uh somewhere down here near katowice uh katowice i'm not really sure how to pronounce it port Vizla. i mean it feels like it'd be more something like this right uh geez this this round's gonna be tough this just feels too warm honestly for me to guess somewhere even f like super far north i'm sure this is something we could find if we really had the time maybe that's far south in poland's not a good idea for how flat it looks um but you know what we stick with it we know the country uh, no who cares if we get the 5k you know what really matters is that we're uh we're trying our best here and we're getting a score that's close enough this could be it this little tree thing comes out and sticks out I mean, this looks a little more reasonable, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll stick with something like this on this little lake. It's a little more northern in Poland. Might be regretting it. Oh! Oh, and we're not regretting it. What a guess. Oh, I mean, I thought this little thing here was the uh, was that little piece of trees sticking out. Turns out it was over here, and that bit of tree sticking out was this. This is not what I thought the water looked like at all. Um, Hotel Mragovo. Pazimieska Mragovo. Wow, it might have said that somewhere, but... Uh, that's a tough round to 5k. I'm, I'm, this is the most luck I've ever had playing this game. I am like shocked at my performance. Um, 4,900. Now I say that now, let me knock on wood because watch the next round be the worst round I've ever guessed. Um, it's possible. Like I can remember playing this map when I used to play this and sometimes I would guess the wrong country, the wrong continent. So there's a lot of room for error. But this has been maybe the best best round in a bit game of GeoGuessr I've ever played. So I'm pretty happy. Let's move on to this one. Okay, immediately this feels like Montenegro or Italy. No, Italy maybe? Let's take a look. Romberg Schmuck. Uh, Mal okay, this feels like German type of language. This is unofficial coverage. Spitzpital. Oh, uh, Spital Casino. Uh, Interlaken. Interlaken's in, uh, in Switzerland. This is... I I've heard of Interlaken before. And, okay, well, yeah, with unofficial coverage, you can take a look at the plates, and you can very well tell, yeah, these are not blurred. That is the Swiss crest. Um, big plus. So we're going to head right into Interlaken. There's a sign that says Interlaken, and that's where we're going. Um, the problem, or no, Interlaken's in Austria, right? It's, like, near Switzerland, or is it Innsbruck? Wait. Oh, no. Where's Interlaken? Oh, Interlaken is in Switzerland. Innsbruck is what I was thinking. Innsbruck is the one in Austria. Interlaken's in Switzerland. So we're going to go into Interlaken, so let's take a look. It might be Interlaken. I don't really know how to pronounce it. I think it's Interlaken, but uh, whatever. We're good for now. We'll try and find the Romberg Schmuck. Um, there's a couple bridges here. That looks like a dam. The hill's on our east. We're almost at the end of this little river here, I will say. Uh, wait. Doesn't look like it opens up like that, though, does it? Oh, maybe we're, like, over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I see. So, so we're kind of, like... So this bridge, east-west, Romberg Schmuck is right across the bridge. It's a bit on both sides. How? Okay, so it's like slightly northwest, maybe? Could we be like here? No, it looks very straight. We could be like here? Because this looks more like... No, but it looks like an actual road. Oh, no. Oh, I might get this wrong, guys. I might not get a 5k. I think I messed up. I think there's... I think I'm missing something. Could we be over here? That's why it didn't look right. The sign said interlocking, but I didn't pay enough attention. The one thing I'm supposed to do in this map is pay very close attention to all my hints. And when I see a sign that says Interlaken, I shouldn't just go there. It's saying it's it's that way. If you want to get to Interlaken, you got to go that way. Is there anything that said Tun around us to know that's where we were? Mitter uh, Realto. No, I don't think I don't think anything did say it. So okay, so I, I'm okay with that. Burn is that way. Interlaken's this way. So Interlaken was to our... Well, let's see, this is north, but... Ah. 
that's okay. With a bit more time, I probably would have looked around and maybe found that, but that one was actually kind of tough. I got a bit baited, not gonna lie. I saw the word interlock and I knew it looked kind of like what that city looks like, because I've seen it before, lots of pictures of it, beautiful place. I'd love to visit one day. I visited Lucerne before, and uh, where's the mountain I visited? Can't really find it. It's somewhere in here. Um, one of these... But, uh, is it here? Yeah, anyway, I've visited some mountains in Switzerland before. A beautiful country. I'd love to visit Interlaken someday, but a bit baited. Not a 5k on the first two rounds, but very, very close. So let's move on to the third. Semtex Explosive Energy. That's a Russian flag. Uh. Wow. Okay, so we have what I, th what looked like. Is that a Russian flag? I mean, it looks to be, right? Unless it's like, oh, this could be like Slovakian. Or Slovenian, which would make more sense with this language. So, Bratsi. Yeah, I think. Could this be Slovakia? Yeah. Sladka? Maybe? I'm not sure. Um, I can't really see a whole lot here. Simtex explosive. Let's take a look around. Yeah, so, because if there's no crest on this, it would be the Russian flag, but the same colors are used. If there's a little crest here, that could be the Slovakian flag, and the language makes me think that that's a lot more likely here. Um, I mean, I'm willing to say this is 100% not Russia. So, if we're in Slovakia, I'm going to assume we're in Bratislava, or maybe we're in Kosice, or Trenčín, something like that, but, I mean, without, without much information... I'm trying to see if I can see a city name here, like if I can see Bratislava or Kosice or Ko Kosice or something like that. Uh, da -da -da Saris, Papi Taxi. <laughs> uh, no, I can't really see a whole lot here. So I, I think I just leave it in Bratislava, right? Like I, I can't move around. River Pub Humene is actually the the uh, creator of this photo. Is there a place called Humene? It, oh my gosh, right here. I don't... Okay, Humene, where's the river pub? Where's the river pub? River pub Humene. There is no way. There is no way. A lot of people have this turned off. I know like Zigzag, for example, has that turned off uh, because he finds it unfair. But I don't care. If it's going to let me get a 5,000 score on this map that gave me like... What I thought was not very many hints. I may let me check again because maybe it said Humane and I wasn't looking for that and I was looking just for Kosice, Bratislava, right there Humane. It was right there for me to look at. I just didn't know that that was the city. So, you know what? I'm not a pro. I don't care. I'm not a GeoGuessr pro. I'm not here claiming I can get that uh, without any hints, whatever. I don't care if I have the camera author on. That's perfect. River Pub Humane. At least I knew it was Slovakia. I used the hints provided to tell me it was Slovakia. And the hints were there, I just found them in a different place. That's all, right? That counts. I think that's fair. On to round four. Beautiful 5k. Uh, ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. Uh, very, very interesting. Let's take a look. What? Okay, that looks like the Polish flag, which it's obviously not. I mean, this is... So we're in the Caribbean, for sure. I mean, obviously. This is confusing me. Is that like bait? I I don't I don't understand. Because there's no Caribbean flag that looks like that. That's the Colombian flag. So maybe it's a state. Uh, in Colombia. So I'm. But is this Hotel Caraibe? Let's see. Parallel four. Sun's a bit to the south. Huh. I mean, could this ever be San Andres? Or Providencia? Let's take a look. So to the east... No, she's it wraps all the way around to the east. And it's wide open to the south. Mm. So as I look east, it curves out south. So it would do something like this. Let's check San Andres. No, it doesn't really do that there either. So maybe we're on mainland Colombia or some other small part of it. Uh, huh. This is actually not easy. We're definitely in a coastal region. We're going to click in Colombia for now. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, this isn't going to be a 5K. 
This is not going to be a 5K. The water is straight to our south in Colombia. It might be just be San Andres, and I'm messing it up. But we're going to leave it where it is. No, it was up here in Necocli. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Well, I'm glad I just clicked. Well, I was going to say I'm glad I clicked in the middle of the country, but that's kind of dumb because it was coastal. But the south coast was really deceiving. One of the only towns, I'm sure, that has a purely south coast. That is so interesting. Yeah, don't think I ever would have gotten that. Uh, very tough to find, but we got the country right again. I need some more water. Excuse me. So I'm happy about that as we move on to the final round. You know, like a dusk coverage. This is so cool. Disney. So we're at like Chinese Disneyland. Is that where we're at right now? Baby Groot. Okay. With Samsung. No flags. I mean, where's Disney found in China? Is it Shanghai? This looks like something you'd find in Shanghai for sure. Maybe Beijing. Let's just zoom right into some major Chinese cities. Um... Because I assume this is this is China, right? And not like Taiwan or Japan or something. Boy, this is going to be very difficult. Shanghai Circus World. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's just... So much going on. You can't even see anything from this zoom level. There's just so many people. So many... Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so... For now, we're going to click Shanghai, because I don't really have a better guess. Uh, we're going to check out Beijing. Grid City. Why do they show Walmart? They show Walmart and Ikea Olympic Forest Park. <coughs> Excuse me. Shopping Center Sightseeing Platform. This is actually kind of tough, because trying to look for Disney in the middle of China... It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, honestly. Unless this is like Hong Kong. Let me quickly check Hong Kong. Uh, I don't. I really don't think it is. I don't think Hong Kong has its own Disney World. And if I don't see it at this zoom level, I'm just going to give up on that. Because I, I really don't think they do. Um, could be wrong, but no. So we're going to leave it in Shanghai. Just because this reminds me of the Shanghai Tower a little bit. Just by the, But it could just be Chinese architecture. Ha! <laughs> Would you look at that? It was right next to the Shanghai Tower. Look how look how far you have to. So wait, wait. So that was just a TV tower or something. That was that was not its own like Disney. Oh, it, Disney China flagship store is where we were. Next to the Oriental Pearl TV Tower to our north. Could I see that? To my north. So one of these things here is the Oriental Pearl TV Tower. Maybe that? Or would it have been this? I think it's this. No. What am I looking at here then? Maybe this isn't like, yeah. This is the Oriental Pearl TV Tower. It is. So that's what I was looking at. And I was like, oh, it just felt like Shanghai. Like other things I've seen in Shanghai. And sure enough, by just clicking in this random part of Shanghai, I got 4,987 points. So... Another 24k. My worst guess was in Colombia. Which is sad for me. I should have clicked somewhere along here anyway. I probably could have found this with a bit more time. But uh, boy that was fun. That was so so fun. Uh, 24k is, is hard to do on any map. But 2 minutes per round. There's a bit of pressure going on. Especially when you know all the hints are there to find out where you are. Um, to be able to get that kind of score, a couple of 5... Well one 5,000 in this seed. Uh, near one in Shanghai. And getting a few in the last seed is... I'm proud of that. I think I did a lot better this video and looking around for clues and being able to use them to my advantage to find out exactly where I was. So, yeah, I, I think that was uh, great content. I think that was a ton of fun for me, and I hope you guys had a ton of fun in those play-along links as well. But that'll do it for this video. If you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate any new viewers who are enjoying the content and want to stick along for the long haul. I'm Geo Goose. We'll catch you in the next video.